Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Dogs. If you have a dog's book, go ahead and get your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. We're going to be on page 13, chapter 1, and the title is A Million Jobs. Fred loved to teach, and he had the perfect job. He was a teacher. It was a couple of minutes before his first class of the day he was scheduled to begin. He walked into the Archimedes building, down the hallway, and into his giant classroom. Hundreds of students were sitting in their seats, taking out their pencils and paper, and getting ready to listen to Fred. In the years that he had been teaching at Kittens University, the sight of his students coming into his classroom always excited him. He was like an actor getting ready to go on stage. There are a million different jobs to choose among. Fred could have been a bus driver, except they don't let a five-year-old get a driver's license. He could have been a bricklayer, except that he was too short. And five-year-old boys have not yet developed muscles to carry a lot of bricks. Being a bullfighter was out of the question. Fred would not have enjoyed killing or being killed. There are people who make perfect bus drivers, bricklayers, or bullfighters. Fred wasn't one of them. We each have a place in the dance of life in which to do our dancing. Some will be mothers, some will be moose trainers, and some will be mushroom farmers. Fred is a teacher. It was eight o'clock. The students became quiet and waited for Fred to begin. Over the years, Fred had won many awards for his teaching. Students loved attending his classes. He made it fun. Fred dashed into a back room and put on a chef's hat. He pushed a large stove out to the front of the class. It moved easily. It was on rollers. Joe and Darlene were two students in the class. Darlene liked to sit next to Joe. Joe said, look, he's bringing out a stove. Darlene had already noticed that, and so had everyone else in the classroom. Joe had been the last one to notice it. He had been drawing on his paper. He liked to draw dinosaurs. Darlene told Joe it was time to pay attention. Joe wrote on his paper. Fred climbed up a ladder to the top of the stove and began frying eggs. Joe wrote four in his notes. Fred took a second pan and fried some more eggs. Joe wrote two. Darlene crossed it out and wrote three. Now, said Fred, if I flip the three eggs in the second pan into the first pan, what do I get? Joe raised his hand and shouted out, an omelet. He smiled and looked at Darlene. He was sure that he had given the right answer. Fred wrote on the blackboard, four plus three equals seven. Okay, are you ready for your turn to play? Go ahead and grab a sheet of paper and a pencil. Remember, you can press pause at any time. Let's begin. Number one. There are maybe a million different jobs that adults do. Write down a list of three jobs that you would not be interested in doing. Be creative. Don't use any of the jobs mentioned already in this chapter. Number two, copy these on a piece of paper and answer them. Four plus nine equals what? Seven plus four equals what? Five plus six equals what? Zero plus three equals what? Nine plus one equals what? Number three. Four eggs plus three eggs equals seven eggs. Four mice plus three mice equals what? 
4 x plus 3 x equals what? 4 pi plus 3 pi equals what? Pi is a Greek letter. Number 4. What is the cardinal number associated with the set Darlene and Joe? Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Join me here tomorrow for Chapter 2. Bye for now.